Katherine Johnson was a child protege who reached high school at age 10 and entered college at age 15. She graduated summa cum laude with Bachelor of Science degrees in mathematics and French at age 18. Catherine started her career as a teacher after college, but later began her stellar 33-year career in aviation and aerospace when she arrived at the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, subsequently NASA, in 1953. Catherine, despite racial and gender barriers, along with her human computer female colleagues, were a critical part of NASA's 1960 space race. Everything looks okay up here. Her unprecedented mathematical calculations of orbital mechanics at NASA were critical to the success of the first and subsequent U.S. crewed space flights. These began with Alan Shepard calculating the trajectory for his May 5, 1961 space flight. Godspeed, John Glenn. When NASA used electronic computers for the first time to calculate John Glenn's orbit around Earth, Officials called on Catherine to verify the computer's numbers. John personally asked for Catherine to verify the calculations. After over 60 years of being an unknown story, the book by Margot Lee Shetterly, Hidden Figures, and the subsequent movie with the same title, finally revealed the trailblazing accomplishments of Catherine and her colleagues. With her story hidden no more from the public, President Obama awarded Catherine the Presidential Medal in 2015. He cited her as a pioneering example of African-American women in STEM. Catherine received numerous awards, honorary doctorates, as well as schools and buildings named in her honor. After retiring from NASA, Catherine regularly visited classrooms to introduce students to the wonders of mathematics and careers in STEM. She passed away at the age of 101 on February 24, 2020. Tonight, we honor Katherine Johnson's legacy as perhaps the greatest mathematician of her time and NASA legend with her induction into the WAI Pioneer Hall of Fame. <laughs>